Oh, hi guys. You just caught me having um leftovers. I'm having spaghetti for breakfast. Remember we're doing um chocolate fever and boy in that story, he was chocolate for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Um do you do anything kind of weird or maybe out of the ordinary for breakfast? There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Today is chapter 2 of Chocolate Fever. So let's get with it. Okay, you got your book? Chapter 2. A Strange Feeling. Better hurry, kids, Mama Green called from the kitchen. It's almost 8.30. Let's go, Slowpoke, Mark said to Henry. We don't want to be late. Just one more chocolate cookie, said Henry. He popped it into his mouth and, still chewing, went to his room to get his books. On the way to the front door, Henry went through the kitchen and gathered a handful of chocolate kisses to put in his pocket. He liked to have them handy to munch on at school. This morning, because he was still still felt somewhat hungry, Henry stripped the silver wrapping from two kisses and popped them in his mouth. Then, after a quick kiss from Mama Green, a kiss that left a little bit of chocolate on her face, Henry, Elizabeth, Mark, and Mark headed out the door on the way to school. At the corner, Henry and Mark waved goodbye to their sister, who had to take the bus to get to her high school. The boys' school, PS 123, was just another block away. At the next corner, Mrs. McIntosh, the crossing guard, waved them across the street. The light is always green for the greens, she said. It was her little joke, and she said it just about every morning. Every morning, only Mark who was an extremely polite, who was extremely polite, smiled. Henry just didn't feel like smiling. In fact, he was beginning to feel a little strange. In the courtyard, the boys went separate ways to join their classes. As usual, there was a lot of pushing and shoving and fooling around. But Henry, who was always very good at things like knocking hats off boys' heads and making goofy faces at the girls, was quiet. He didn't even say hi when Michael Burke, his best friend, came along. Well, what's the matter with you? asked Michael, grinning. What do you mean, what's the matter? said Henry. Can't I just stay, stand here? Do I have to carry on and behave like a nut? Okay, okay, said Michael. You don't have to bite off my head. It's just that you're kind of different today. Not like yourself at all. Just then, the whistle blew and all the children began marching into the school building. I feel funny today, Henry said to Michael. I have a feeling something's going to happen, and I don't know what. That exact feeling had something that, sorry, that exact feeling that something was going to happen stayed with Henry all morning. He felt strange in his homeroom, strange when he went to gym class, and in Mrs. Kim Farber's math class, he felt strange all over. Henry couldn't concentrate on what, what, the teacher was saying. He just sort of sat there and stared. Without thinking about it, he was looking at his arm and back and the back of his hand. And then he noticed something. There were little brown freckles all over his skin. Now this would not have been such a startling discovery except for one thing. Those little brown freckles were not there when he woke up this morning. At the front of the room, Miss Kimmel Farber was going through the drill of fractions. She was saying, And if you take six and a half and subtract one and a quarter, what will you have left? She looked directly at Henry, who was looking directly at his arm. Henry, she said, what will you have left? Little brown spots all over, said Henry. Henry's arm. The little brown spots all over for Henry. And that's the end of chapter two. So we're leaving Henry with the little brown spots starting on his arm. All right, guys, that was chapter two. We will do chapter three shortly. And I hope that you're enjoying the book. If you're reading along, that's good. It's a good summer book. Um, hopefully you don't eat enough of whatever you eat for breakfast cold like I do. Hopefully I'm not going to get little maybe red dots because I'm eating spaghetti. Usually that only happens if you have 
an allergic reaction to something. But this book actually is a fun book, so we'll see what happens. You guys, enjoy your day, and I'll see you on the next chapter.